Evening friends, welcome to our evening prayer. <laughs> um, just a quick reminder for everyone how this goes. We're, we're going to go ahead and have prayer at the beginning here. Um, I'm just going right out of the United Methodist Hymnal, uh, page 878. We're going to read Psalm 3 today, and after our prayers, uh, after that part of the prayer time, we're going to go ahead and pray for everyone. Um, if you have prayers, if you want to put them in the comments now and let us know, then that would be fantastic. Uh, after I'm done kind of with our standard prayers, what I've gathered through the week, I'll go ahead and read any that are here. Um, but if not, go ahead and respond. If you're watching this later, for example, go ahead and respond. And uh, if there's any prayers or any announcements that you'd like the community to know, um, please go ahead and put them in the comments so that we can come back throughout the week, uh, tomorrow, what have you, and um, keep connected in that way. So uh, I think the only other announcement before we dive right in is that we are going to be moving this prayer time to 7 o'clock, not next Wednesday, but the following Wednesday, just to give people kind of some time to get used to that. We've noticed that it's hard to join us in these prayer times uh, if you work till five o'clock, which many of us do. So um, that being said, uh, not next Wednesday, but the following Wednesday, we'll go ahead and move our prayer time to seven o'clock on Wednesday evenings. But for those of us here now, um, or those of us who will join eventually, um, please, would you join me in prayer? Light and peace in Jesus Christ. Thanks be to God. Friends, would you join me? Let us praise and give thanks to God. For God is without beginning and without end. Through Christ, God created the whole world. And through Christ, God preserves it. God made the light and the works for the day and the night for refreshment of our minds and our bodies. O oh Lord, keep us now in Christ. Grant us a peaceful evening, a night free from sin, and bring us at last to eternal life. Through Christ and in the Holy Spirit, we offer all glory, honor, and worship now and forever. Amen. Friends, at this time, we invite you to listen to the psalm, the song of the people of God. This is Psalm 3, Psalm of David. O Lord, how many are my foes! Many are rising against me. Many are saying of me, there is no help for him in God. But you, O Lord, are a shield about me, my glory and the lifter of my head. I cry aloud to the Lord who answers me from his holy hill. I lie down and sleep. I wake again for the Lord sustains me. I'm not afraid of 10,000 people who have set themselves against me on every side. Arise, O Lord, deliver me, O my God. For you strike all my enemies on the cheek, and you break the teeth of the wicked. Deliverance belongs to the Lord. Your blessing upon your people. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Friends, at this time, uh, we'd like to pray for all the people, not only within our community, not only within our nation, but the whole world. It's a time where we remember that um, our hearts are transformed by prayer, that by praying, not only does God listen and act, maybe not in ways that we're expecting or used to, but that by praying, God acts, our hearts are transformed, and that we might act more justly in this world. So, friends, would you pray with me? Almighty God, we ask that you are with our congregation, that you encourage them and equip them, 
that you lift them up and give them the strength to do the work that you have called them to do. God, help us remember that every day we awake is a day that we have been blessed with the opportunity to build your kingdom. Lord, help us remember that this race does not end when we reach a certain age, but this race continues on until our final breaths. Lord, help our congregations not only realize that perhaps they're becoming leaders within their communities, perhaps they already are, but Lord, help us recognize and become aware and take hold of the ways which you have called us to guide the people and our neighbors. Lord, may we be kind and loving and generous. May we be gentle and patient and full of hope. Almighty God, be with us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Friends, I invite you now to pray with those who suffer, those who are ill, those who um, need respite. Uh, at the end of the prayer, I'll say, Lord, in your mercy, and I invite you to respond to our prayer. Almighty God, we pray for those who suffer, those who are in trouble. We pray for those who need your grace and your peace. Lord, we pray for those who are healing. We know that you are the healer. We know that your healing takes place in many different ways, ways sometimes that we expect and other times that we don't. Lord, whatever you have deemed as good, whatever is good, Lord, may it become, may it be so. Give peace to those who suffer, comfort to those who mourn, and grace to those who care for others. Lord, we pray especially for those who are dear to us. We pray especially... We pray especially for Verla Christensen. We pray especially for Juanita. We pray especially for those within our congregation who are in the hospital. Lord, be with them and help us reach out to them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Friends, I invite you to pray for the concerns of our local communities. Almighty God, please walk with us. Be with us as we discern your will and your way. Lord, help our communities. Lord, help them have enough to eat. Help them come together and realize how interconnected, how bound together, hopefully by your love they are. God, give them enough food to eat. Lord, provide housing for those who are without it or improved housing for those who lack it. God, we pray that those in our communities who are suffering from mental illnesses, Lord, help them. Help them or find ways for us to help one another. God, we pray for those who are feeling the burden of reduced income, whether from profit or wages or what have you. Lord, help us uplift one another. Help us band together and become united that we might care for one another in any way that we might find possible. Lord, help our communities and help us serve our communities and help us <laughs> listen to your will. 
sense the movement of your spirit so that we might guide them into your grace and your abundance. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Friends, I invite you to pray for our world, its people, and our leaders. Almighty God, we ask that you, that you speak to us and that you give us ears to listen. Almighty God, we ask that you continue to teach us what it means to be people of faith. And Lord, we ask that your wisdom and your understanding is present in our leaders that they truly hear your word, your true word, and they listen to it and they follow it. As, as, psalm, as the second psalm says, Lord, may we, may we fear you and stand in awe of you and follow your ways. As Deuteronomy says, may we, may we exhibit righteousness May we be examples of what it means to live according to your laws and your word and your grace. Lord, may our leaders teach our people how to be good and care for each other. And Lord, may we as people learn how to work together to serve one another and to bear each other's burdens. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. Friends, let's pray for the church. God, that you might increase your holiness among us, that, that the church might not just be one day a week, a morning on Sunday, but that the church might be a way of life. That living in grace and growing and maturing in faith might be something that we weave into every bit of our existence. Lord, be with your people and teach them how to be righteous. That yes, at the end of all things, we may rest easy in your arms of love. But that today, as we wait, we might build a better world for our children and our children's children. That we might truly believe that your kingdom is near and among us. And we might see with holy eyes how to live alongside of it and within it. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. God, we pray for those who have passed on. The communion that we have with all the saints. Lord, we pray especially for Tony Bees Lang. Lord, be with him. And we pray for those who are ever present on our hearts, those who we may have lost days ago, weeks ago, or maybe even years. Lord, help us not lose hope. Help us not despair. Help us truly believe that there is life after death, that resurrection is the way that reality works. And help us trust in your grace and in your love that we might all be welcome at the table and reunited at the end of all things. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And so, friends, I invite you now with the confidence of the children of God to pray with each other and with us the prayer that Christ has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, 
Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. The grace of Jesus Christ enfold you this night. Go in peace and bless the Lord. Amen. Friends, thanks for joining us for prayer. Um, not too many announcements this week. Just a quick reminder that we will be moving our Wednesday prayer time to 7 o'clock to um, hopefully help people engage a little bit more, um, be a little bit more in tune with our community's schedules, rhythms, routines, whatever you want to call it. Um, our Friday teaching time is still at 6 o'clock. Uh, that is a recorded and scheduled and posted time. So you are able to watch that whenever you want. Just know that it comes out Friday at 6. So um, we are going through dis what it means to discern, how we discern, how we listen to the voice of God, how how we become aware to where the Spirit is moving, and, and how to make good choices, as my grandmother used to say. Um, but other than that, please feel free, uh, watch us on Friday, um, join us uh, on our live stream, either up here in Shenandoah on Sunday mornings at, at 9 a.m. or down in Hamburg on Sunday mornings at 11 a.m. But friends, um, as the blessing said today, if there and also if there's any more announcements, go ahead and put them in the comments. But um, friends, as our blessing said today, may the light and the grace of Christ enfold you, and may you go in peace. Friends, blessings, take care, and we'll see you when we see you.